everyone, welcome back to another algebra video. In this video, we're going to be solving the second problem from the fall 2023 qualifying exam in algebra at UC Irvine. Uh, this exam isn't available online yet, but when it becomes available, I will post a link in the description. So let's read the problem and then I'll talk about how I would approach this if I had been taking the exam. So it says, let G be a group whose LM, or sorry, let G be a group whose group of automorphisms is cyclic. Okay, so we know something about the automorphism group. We know it's cyclic. Prove that G is abelian. Okay, so that's what we want to prove. Now, I think the hint in this case is extremely important. I mean, hints usually are, um, but this one kind of, uh, if this hint hadn't been given, I think I definitely would have struggled more to come up with a solution to this. But the hint is saying you may use the following without proof. So it says, if G is a group such that G mod Z of G, so the center, so if the group mod its center is cyclic, then the group itself has to be abelian. So kind of organizing our thought process is, well, okay, if I can somehow get that G mod its center is cyclic, then I'm done. So I want to kind of get there somehow. So that's our goal. So really our updated goal is if we can show that G mod its center is cyclic, then we get for free that G is abelian and we're done. So this is kind of what we really should be aiming to prove. Now, first thing I think when I look at this problem is, okay, we're taking a group or modding its center. Uh, I want to say something about it being cyclic. Two things I'm thinking is one, I want to use first isomorphism theorem somehow. And second thing is, well, okay, if I'm looking at uh, first iso theorem, I want to look at maps from G to its automorphism group such that the kernel of this map, maybe I'll call it capital Phi, is equal to the center. So that's the idea. Now, okay, uh, if I do G mod whatever this kernel is, I get that it's isomorphic to a subgroup of the automorphism group. Remember, we're trying to show that this is cyclic. Well, I remember the fact that subgroups of cyclic groups are cyclic. So, so long as I can build a map that has the kernel equal to the center, I'm done. Um, lucky for us too, I already have a video on this channel proving um, this result. So I'll link it in the cards above. You can go check it out if you need a refresher. But the result we're gonna be using is subgroups of cyclic groups are cyclic. Great. So again, this is how I would approach the problem had I been taking the exam. Um, so kind of first thing we're going to need to do is I need a map from G to its automorphism group where the kernel is the center. So I'm thinking about center. I'm thinking about automorphisms. Well, let's like kind of a candidate that, that jumps out at you. Um, I would say the inner automorphism group. So let's kind of just define capital Phi, see, see what happens. So proof. I'm going to say define phi going from G to its automorphism group by, I'm going to say little element G maps to the automorphism, let's call it little phi G, where phi sub G, remember this is an automorphism of G, sends kind of is such that so an element x in my group maps to g x g inverse. So here again we have this conjugation. Um, I'll leave it to check that this provides you know an honest um, automorphism of g. But you know you can let me know in the comments if you need help with that. But let's assume that you know this is okay. So this is our map. Hi everyone, editing me here and just popping in to say that you should definitely check that capital Phi provides a group homomorphism. So again, uh, let me know if you have any questions about that and I'll send it back to the original video. Now, first isomorphism theorem tells me, oops, that if I take the kernel of capital Phi, so I take G mod out by that kernel, it's isomorphic to a subgroup of the automorphism group. Remember, I'm going after G mod its center. So my hope is that the kernel of this map is the center of G. Now, why did I pick this map? Um, part of it is because I know if I'm dealing with central elements, then I, I can commute things in a way that looks nice. So I can, in particular, move this G, G inverse. 
um, if these are central elements and be left with x. So let me show you what I mean by that. So kind of here's my claim. And it's that the kernel of capital phi is equal to the center of G. So, okay, how do we do something like this? Well, I think double inclusion is the way to go. So let me just give a fresh piece of digital paper. And let me see, I think easier direction is backwards. So let's show that kernel of G is contained, or sorry, center of G is contained in kernel of phi. So I'll say let G in center of G. Remember, this means G commutes with all elements of our group. Then phi of G, well, this is equal to little phi sub G. Remember, this is the map that takes X and G and sends it to GX, G inverse. So I want to show that this phi, so I want to show that this, if this is the kernel, it means it maps to the identity element in automorphism group. My, I want to show that this is the same as the identity map on the group, right? So, okay, let's see why. I'm going to say, well, this, I'll do it. Phi of G of X is equal to GX, G inverse. This is for all X and G. But then because G is central, so G in center of G implies that this is G, G inverse X. Well, that's just X. So I'm saying for all X in my group, this function sends X to itself. Well, what does that mean? It means that little phi sub G is the identity. So it's the neutral element in the automorphism group. Um, so in particular, it means that G is in the kernel of capital phi. So implies, G is in kernel, capital V. So there's one direction, let's see the other one. So now I want to show that the kernel is contained in the center. So now I wanna show, okay, kernel V contained center of G. So let's see, let little g in kernel capital V. What this means is that, remember, our function so phi sub g is equal to the identity function in the automorphism group. So this means, maybe I'll do it like this. So for all x in g, gx g inverse is equal to x, because remember, it's just the identity map. If I apply g to the right on both sides, this means that gx is equal to x g. Remember, this is for all x and g. Well, this is just the definition of g being in the center of the group. So, okay, we've shown that the kernel is equal to the center. So then, okay, by first isomorphism theorem, let's see if I can draw in a nice picture, maybe not. So let's do it like this. I have g going to automorphism group of g by capital Phi. I know I have a map going from G to G mod kernel, which we saw was the center. And I know by first isomorphism theorem that G mod center is isomorphic to a subgroup of the automorphism group. But by our fact, again, subgroups of cyclic groups, so we know automorphism group is cyclic, subgroups of cyclic groups are cyclic, so because ought g is cyclic, we know that g mod the center is cyclic. And by the hint that was provided, this is enough to say that g is abelian. All right, so that's the proof. Um, again, if there's any questions, let me know in the comments, or if you're a student of mine, send me an email um, and we can chat about it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.